Hey there my artists, I hope you guys are all doing well at home. In this lesson we're going to learn how to make some amazing Claude Monet inspired water lilies. For this I just used coffee filters, markers, and water. Stay tuned to watch how to make it. This is a picture of Claude Monet in his studio. He's best known for his water lily paintings he painted in his garden in Giverny. He was a part of the Impressionist movement. Impressionist painters painted with bright colors and wanted their paintings to be full of life. For this first step, you may want to get a grown-up to help you. First, we're going to take a coffee filter and we're going to fold it in half. We want to make sure that we smooth down our coffee filter, making sure we have a nice fold. Next, we're going to fold it in half a second time. And then, we're going to fold it in half again. Next, we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut a small V-shape at the end of our coffee filter. When we open up the filter, it's going to look like our flower petals. I'm going to repeat these steps with a second coffee filter so our flower has dimension. That means that one part of the flower is going to stand out from the other. Now that we have our flowers cut out, I'm going to get my tools ready to go. If you would like to use food coloring to add color to your flowers, go right ahead. But I'm going to use a marker that I have to add my color. We're also going to need some water so we can spread out our color on our flower. So I have a little dog bowl with some water and a paintbrush ready to go. I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to fold it and I'm going to begin coloring. I'm going to start in the middle, that way my color can spread out to the ends of my petals. If you're happy with how you've colored, now we can start adding the water. I'm going to paint up and you're going to see the color start to spread out on the coffee filter. The water is going to absorb into the coffee filter and the washable marker will start to spread out. Once you're satisfied with the water painting, we can start to open up our flower. But we want to be very careful when we do this to make sure that we don't accidentally tear the coffee filter. Once we're happy with how it looks, we can set this flower aside to let it dry. For the next flower, we're going to repeat the same steps. We're going to start by coloring the pointed end of our flower, and then we're going to use the paintbrush and water to spread out that color. Now it's time to create our lily pad. We're going to take one coffee filter and flatten it on our table. Then we're going to take a green marker and we're going to scribble on our lily pad. You don't have to fill in all the gaps, but we want to have most of it colored. Then we're going to take a blue marker and add some blue squiggles here and there. Now that we have our color ready to go, we can start adding our water. We're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to paint water all over the coffee filter. Once we're finished, we're going to let it dry before we glue on the flowers. Now that our lily pad is dry, we can go ahead and cut a little triangle pizza slice out of the lily pad. Next, I'm going to take my Elmer school glue and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to do a little dot of glue. Then I'm going to get my first flower and I'm going to gently put it on the glue dot. I'm going to hold it down so it sticks. I'm going to get another dot of glue 
and my second flower and I'm going to attach it, making sure that you can see the other lily pad petals underneath. And that's it. All right, my artists, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this very fun Claude Monet inspired water lily project. I can't wait to see what you guys make and I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.